Hello everyone, I'm so excited today I'm making Armenian Easter cookies. The first thing I do is I put 5 cups of flour into my big bowl. My second step is putting 2 tablespoons of baking powder. I put then the ground mahlab which you could find at any Middle Eastern or Armenian store and I put one tablespoon of this this is the really good smell that comes out of the cookie and then I put half a cup of sugar and then I uh, mix all of these dry ingredients together now I get my butter I'm using lure pack butter I'm going to put this entire butter in there because the recipe calls for two sticks of butter. I just cut them and put it in like this because I am going to be um, mixing this with my hands. So I wanted the butter to melt in my hands easier. Now I put about half a cup of milk. And three fourth cup of oil. I use mazola oil. Then crack one egg, put it inside, and then I put one egg white. But what you have to do is save the yellow part of the egg on the side because you're going to be needing it for later. And here I start mixing. You're going to be mixing this really well for a good amount of time, so get ready. This is what your mixture should be looking like. Very smooth and everything should be well combined. By the way, you guys could totally add cinnamon powder to this. I wish I did that, um, but it's okay next time. And I just form it into a bowl here. I'm going to put a towel over it, and I'm going to set it aside for about 5 hours and then come back to it. You would need it to set it aside so it could rise a little bit. So 5 hours later, and I finally start to make my cookies. My dough had risen, and this is the first style, I guess you could say, of cookie I was making. You could um, totally do any kind of style that you like. This is just an idea for you. I also did my cookies really small. That's just how me and my mom like them when we drink um, coffee. We like to eat really tiny cookies with it. So obviously you could do any size, any shape. You don't have to do what I'm doing. This is just like an idea for you guys. Also, don't worry about putting the cookies really closely together in your baking sheet because they um, don't rise too much. And this was my second style of cookie that I did. It was just small circles. So I'm going to show you how I did this one as well. It's really simple. Again, you could do whatever style that you want. Now that I finished two trays, I get my sesame seeds out, I have my egg yolk here ready and I'm gonna start brushing my egg yolk onto all of the cookies. The egg yolk is what gives the cookies the color. The more yolk you put, the browner your cookies get in the oven. After I put the yolk, I throw my sesame seeds on. This is of course optional. If you don't like sesame seeds, you don't have to put them on your cookies. Once it's finished, I get my first tray. My oven is preheated to 350 and for about 10 to 12 minutes and they come out like this. Keep, I did it for that short amount of time because my cookies were really small. Obviously, if you made the cookies a little bigger, it would be in the oven for a while longer. So keep your eye out. And then I do put the batches in separately. So here I have my second batch of cookie, um, they're out, they were also in the oven for about 12 minutes 
and that's it you guys it's really easy it tastes really good and if you try it at home please let me know and thank you guys so much for watching